Golden Sun, one of my favorite Nintendo franchises, contains many references to various things. Few enemies don't allude to something, and the didn't sometimes have names that don't make sense at first, and occasionally ever. Jin is a variant of Jin, or its ultra-westernized form, Genie. Yes, the Arabian story Aladdin is actually a story including a Jin, not a Genie. Like most instances of DJ, it is pronounced with a very soft or silent D. The word Jin actually is plural, and Jini is singular. Both variants of Jin are mostly respellings of how these forms are pronounced. Jin come in four flavors, Venus, Mars, Mercury, and Jupiter. The correlation to elements mostly falls into Chinese astrology or cultural connections. Mercury in Chinese astrology is represented by water. Water people are considered to be very clever and graceful. Very fitting for Alex. Other astrological connections do not have much relation though. The mythical Mercury also has little in common with the element. However, Hermes, the god Mercury was derived from, does have a few. Hermes was known for protecting and supporting those who travel, potentially being the source of Mercury's healing power. He also has a certain pure or divine side as the one said to escort the newly dead to the heavens. However, water is a vital requirement to life and is closely associated with good health, being able to hydrate and clean wounds to prevent infection. Fizz is popularly known as sound made in liquids when they produce bubbles rapidly. As a noun, it refers to these bubbles too. It may heal as an allusion to bubbling hot springs, or hot tubs being used for healing purposes. Sleet is a type of precipitation composed of snow and rain. It may also drop enemy attack power due to how effective it is for saturating clothing with frigid slush. Mist is a flow of liquid droplets floating through the air. If a depressant was misted through the air, it could cause those who breathe it in to pass out. To spritz something means to give it a quick spray or squirt. In extremely hot conditions, people often spritz themselves to refresh and cool themselves. Like spritz refreshes your party. Hail are balls of ice made high in the atmosphere at freezing temperatures that fall from the sky when the warm drafts beneath can no longer support their weight. This happens often and frequently in spring or fall. While small hailstones will buffet you and be more of an annoyance or a nice back massage, large hailstones are capable of denting cars, breaking glass. Uncommonly large ones can pierce roofs and create divots like cannonballs. These larger stones could understandably hurt and compromise an enemy's defense. Besides being a strange alternate name of soda, most of the world knows tonic as a mixture or elixir meant to heal, which is exactly what tonic does. Dew are droplets of water that rest on cool surfaces in the morning. Poetically, dew can mean vigor, hence being able to reinvigorate the dead. Fog is a thick cloud-like mist that floats tangent to the ground versus in the sky like a cloud. A state of confusion is also known as a fog, hence why fog can make his targets delusional. Sour as a noun is closely associated with acids which can eat away at things, hence the ability to erode enemy resistances. A hard drink called a sour mixes a spirit or liquor mixed with citrus juice. A sour can also refer to an acidic mixture used to neutralize soap or bleach residue. A spring is a small body of water. In this case, spring represents a bubbly hot spring. In Greek mythology, shades describe the dead on their journey into Hades, an anagram of shade. A notable portion of this journey was crossing the river Styx. This may be the loose water association. As a verb, shade means to protect from heat, which the Ginny does to protect you. Alternately, a cloud is capable of providing shade. Maybe Nintendo was channeling Exodus? A chill is the sensation of slight cold. Oddly, chill is far more frigid than his name reveals. So frigid his biography states he turns enemies brittle, dropping their defense. Steam is evaporated water that rises in dancing white ribbons from a hot water source. Perhaps steam creates a protective steam aura. Rhyme is hard to explain. It's kind of like frost, or more specifically, what you popularly know as frost is usually rhyme. Rhyme is basically the product of water vapor from mist or fog flash freezing upon touching a super cold object, creating a white coating of ice whereas frost is primarily dew that is frozen. Rhyme's ability of brain freezing, according to his bio, has no close relation to his effect. However, if the rhyme formed a barrier, that could potentially block synergy in theory. But that is speculation. His bio seems to contradict. 
A gel is a squishy, malleable, liquid solid or solid liquid. An eddy is defined as a current that moves contrary to the primary current. If that didn't make sense, it's basically a whirlpool, a vortex. Eddy seems to be able to draw time to him and speed up gin recovery. A bomb is an ointment or oily plant juice with healing properties. This is why bomb can revive your party. Serac is a glacier, specifically a tower or block-shaped glacier or a portion of a glacier. His ability to suck all heat and insta-kill would make more sense if his name was Kelvin or something, since zero Kelvin is the lowest possible temperature. Well, apparently in Japan, he is named Zero for that exact reason. He represents Zero Kelvin. A surge is a rising or flowing wave. His biography reveals the flowing wave is a hot springs geyser. We all know what hot springs do. Oh boy. <laughs> Mel represents calm Pacific waters. In fact, he's so chill. Unchill synergy is weakened. What a chill bro, man. Claw references aggressive sea life, like crabs or lobsters. He can pinch so hard it will pierce your shell and make you extra susceptible to synergy. This is a drop of dew. That's what a dew drop is. Mind blown. No, you want your mind blown? This Jenny has the same effect and almost the same stat modifiers as Tonic. I'm thinking Tonic may be scamming us, or maybe Tonic and Dew had hot gin sex and produced Dew Drop. Saving the world can be very romantic, you know. A torrent is a strong, rushing flow. According to his bio, torrent's energy is so infectious it makes the party move like a flowing torrent. Coral is the ever-growing skeleton of some aquatic animals. Coral can even form thick reefs. A spout is something liquid comes out of. It can be a spigot or a hose. A fire hose, for example, can hit so hard enemies can't see straight. Tears are the solution that your eyes secrete when you get something in it. A major trope in fiction is that tears have the ability to revive the dead. Something this Ginny is said to be able to do. At least bring back the nearly dead. A pincer is another name for a claw, or anything that pinches. Pincer is very much like claw, except pincer represents peaceful sea life. Allegedly. Foam is the collection of small bubbles on the surface of an agitated or heated liquid. Foam represents sea foam, and is capable of controlling the waves to create instability and slow enemies. A geyser is a pressurized hot spring that will periodically erupt out water and steam at high pressures. Geyser can hit so hard enemies are knocked out of the battle and live to fight you another day. Shells are the skeleton and protective armor of various marine animals. Shell is capable of boosting your defense with this hardness. Next time we finish the gin with Jupiter.